Yeah, what up guys and welcome back to another one back out here for another magnet fishing adventure You guys have been loving them. I've been loving doing them because it's finally summer It's the thing to do the weather is beautiful today couldn't be better We have just a hair bit of breeze so it shouldn't be blowing the audio out very badly and we got docks Oh, yeah, and we got the kayaks today boys me and dad brought them both out this is my Old Town kayak. Haven't been able to use it. I actually got it during hunting season and planned on doing some duck hunts out of it, but never got around to it. So I figured it is time to bust her out and put her to use. But here in just one minute, I will get to the reason why we brought the kayaks because there is a specific reason why we brought them today. But first, before we get into it, I got to give a huge shout out to Wukong Magnets for hooking it up with some amazing magnets. This is actually their 1700 pound side pole magnet, which I will be using today. I'll be pulling it behind the kayak, dragging it along. Yeah, dad forgot his magnet, so he'll be pulling around whole Big Bertha here. So two huge magnets today, two kayaks. But if you want to pick up any of these Wukong magnets, any of the magnets that we use on all of our magnet fishing videos, I will link them all down in the description below. They are nice, they are quality, as well as their ropes. Their ropes are legit. But the reason why we brought the kayaks, the main reason why, we have been here before. I've magnet fished all these docks. Uh, there might be some new stuff on it. We haven't been here for over a year. But this bad boy right here, this suspension bridge, since day one, when I seen this, I was like, I want to magnet fish that. Because the problem is, is when you walk up here, you'll see what I'm talking about. Is there's this, there's this. And yeah, you can, uh, you can get, you can angle the dangle right here, but you can't get underneath the walkway. Think how much stuff has probably fell through this wire mesh. Cause this bad boy is long. I mean, really long. I'd say it's, easily over 100 foot long probably 120 foot long to be quite honest so uh this campground has been around forever open to the public it's actually i believe it was built back in the 60s so there's no telling what's underneath that bad boy well we got dad in ready to sit sail here you go good to go all right got my old paddle ready to go now I'm really hoping I don't spill it today. There we go. All righty. We are here, boys. Got you on the uh, GoPro on the hat. If it looks good, give us a big old thumbs up today. But we're going to start right up here. Right at the beginning of the walkway here is where I'm going to start. Dad's going to start at the other end. We're going to meet in the middle. Hopefully. Come on now. Let's go this way now. Hopefully it works that way. My plan is is to put in the magnet and basically drag it behind me. Bad thing is, if you throw this out and pull it to you, it works as an anchor, so it pulls the boat to the magnet. <laughs> we went a little bit here. Not a thrack. Ooh, it's a little deep down there. See, it's pulling me to it. <laughs> this is gonna be a struggle bus situation here, boys. Still nothing, oh no, boys. And gals, I forgot my gloves. They're up at the truck. We already sit sail. There's no way that I'm going to go get my uh, gloves now. There's no turning back. I'm sorry, y'all. Yes, I usually wear gloves because it keeps your hands protected. But I'm just going to have to be extra careful today. I always wonder how many people are like, what is that guy doing with a GoPro on his head? So, I think new uh, new move here is I'm gonna let it dangle down there. And I'm going to trap that, trap the rope with my foot right there. I'm gonna actually try to pull it. Let's see if we can pull it here. Oh yeah, we can pull it. Oh, this might work. There we go, now we're, we're talking. So now I can get up along here like this and just pull it along. Now we're talking, boys. Now we're working. Smarter, not harder. Oh, I'm going to be able to cover some area here. This is what I was talking about. Got to make sure I got enough out there, though. Don't want it to get too deep, and then I'm not dragging it. So there we go. 
definitely enough there. This is working. I'm just uh, really slowed down now. Just going nice and slow here. It's nice being able to use this this walking bridge, this fence, as a uh, as a guide here instead of just relying on the oar by itself. Because we, I actually got a little bit of breeze blowing us around too. Dad, do this technique. Dangle your magnet in there. Put it in your foot right here. And then just use the fence to pull you along. You will be able to search this whole thing. You having uh you having troubles over there? Uh -oh. <laughs> it's awkward as heck, isn't it? It's it's not the easiest thing. I I will tell you that, guys. On this video, I'm gonna be very very honest and tell you that if someone was on the bank watching us right now, which I hope there isn't anybody, we would look like complete you know what. I mean, all right, I'm going to start down, going down this way, cover some area. Are you going to stay on that side? Yeah. Well, headed back. Haven't found a darn thing yet. Ooh, it feels like something there. Man, same spot every time. I hit something right there every time. I don't know what it is. Every time. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Old butter knife. Butter knife. Yep. I'll be darned. First find of the day, a butter knife. <laughs> we found a butter knife the last video too, didn't we? No, it was a steak knife. Steak knife. It was a steak knife. But there we go. First find of the day. Still got you on the GoPro. I didn't bring the big I didn't bring the big camera along because there's no way I'm dropping that expensive thing in the water. But it must be something bigger down there because I, I there felt is. it go. Kunk. Yeah. Finally, I'll tell you what though. I will tell you what. Without my gloves, I feel a little naked, not gonna lie. I don't feel as protected, you know? Well, still pulling her along here. I felt something grab a hold. You got something on there? Yeah. What do you got? Uh, Ooh, it's heavy? Uh-oh. Oh, look at that! Got you an old tire iron, or what is that? Tire iron? Tire iron. Got you a tire iron. That's an old dude, check it out. All rusty and whatnot. Look at that. First find for dad of the day. Not bad. There we go. Heck yeah. That ain't bad. We're both on the board, you know. Yeah, just a matter of time before something heavy snags on this. I just have a feel. <laughs> Dad's uh so dad has an enforcer, a pelican enforcer, and it's just a lot narrower than this old town. If you guys want to check out this old town kayak, I will link it down in the uh, description below. It's very nice. It's wide and it's stable. It's wide. It's, it's a lot wider. Than yeah, it's a, I will say it's a very nice one. Shout out to Old Town for hooking it up. Oh, well, still making our way. Slowly but surely making our way. Ooh, there was something. Something just snagged on there. Yeah. Yep, something's on there for sure. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, wow, look at that. What is that? Oh, that's an old lantern. Yep, that's an old lantern. Check it out. Look at that. All be darn. I'd say somebody huh. didn't lose that too long ago. Yeah, that's not, it doesn't, I mean, there's some mud caked in it, but it doesn't look very old at all. Well, there we go, boys. I was uh, I was very worried about doing this because as you can tell, we're fighting the wind. It's tough, but there we go. We got three items on the board. It's paying off. I'm behind. This is, <laughs> yeah, Dad's like I'm behind. It's we always try to make it a competition when we come out here. As as long as you try to make everything a competition, you're bound to find something. So if you bring a buddy out, a dad, a brother, whatever, make it a competition and then it'll push each other to find something good so but that's that's probably the best find of the day magnet fishing from kayaks y'all is not easy if it wasn't for this bridge here it would definitely be a lot harder to maneuver where we wanted to go to stay underneath here say this bridge was you know maybe out of reach it would be an absolute pain in the butt because this actually gives you something to grab a hold of you know it yeah this is actually nice this ain't bad 
Thank goodness. Thank goodness the water's up. <laughs> Makes it closer to the bridge. Oh man, nothing. Not even small stuff. Man, I thought there'd be a lot more people fishing out on this. You know what I mean? I figured we'd be finding some lures, some, some hooks like usual. But man, it's pretty darn clean except for the big large objects that we found. Not done yet. I think we're in. Uh oh, dad got something. Look at that. I was just saying, we haven't found any fishing lures and check that out. You got yourself a weird little spinner action going on dad there. That hasn't been on in the water very long. No. That is clean. Yeah, that looks pretty darn new, doesn't it? I mean, the hook, you can tell, but everything else looks pretty darn new. Holy smokes, I'm telling you what. That right there, ladies and gentlemen is work that's not easy man that's not easy pull you up a little bit there you go oh man that ain't easy is it it's a lot harder than what you think it is <laughs> it's a lot harder than what i figured it was gonna be i was like dad remember that suspension bridge over at west park hey we need to go hit that on the kayaks he's like hey good idea and then right when i put him in I was like, okay, camera, magnet, <laughs> or, and wind. It all comes into effect. You're literally battling like five different things at once trying to get one job done. Yeah. That's work. Well, <laughs> me and dad are a little bit tired out from the old kayak. So uh, we decided to come over here to this cleaning station that I was talking about earlier and uh, give her a whirl, take a break from the kayaks make it a little easier on ourselves because lord knows that was work wasn't That's it work me and dad have found some really good stuff here before i mean really good stuff and uh this is a very 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 popular dock for the for the reason being a lot of people come and clean their fish right here What, what do we have here? <laughs> what all did you get? Yeah. Well, you got big into old, something. Big What's old that? treble hook. That's a big old treble hook with some debris on it. Oh, look at that. That's not too old. I'll be darned. Looks like somebody's little magnet. How do those little things find? Oh, that's a battery. But yeah, a battery. That's a little battery. Got a watch battery. You got into the jackpot here. Got a little hook. I'll be darned. Well, first find on the dock second fishing lure for you today you've been the fishing lure magnet yeah i think it's trying to tell me get out and fish do some fishing i know right fishing. i know me and dad we're planning on going camping so if you guys like camping catch and cook with different species of fish over a campfire you gotta drop a comment down below and let us know say hey bob dad yeah go camping make them videos we want to see you oh <laughs> what'd you get there I don't know. It looks we like we found one of those last time yeah. we were here. You know what this is? What? Oh, it's, it's a an cover. old water cover. Yeah, water head cover. We didn't find one of those last time no, we were we here. Didn't. We found something that was shaped like it, I think. But that's cool. That's an old water. What do you call them? A water meter cover. Yeah, water meter cover. Duh. Look at that. Wonder what date that bad boy is. What's it say here? Water. Mueller C is all is all she says. Anything on the bottom? Nope. There we go. But like always, we take a look at what all we found today, and it's not a bad little pile. I figured we would have found a lot more being on the kayaks today, just because it gives you more accessibility. But here we are. Dad came through with a couple lures right here. Not bad. This one actually looks really new. Actually reusable yeah. for sure. And then I came through with the butter knife. Seems like every time we find some type of kitchen utensil. Every time. Steak knives. <laughs> my mama's kitchen <laughs> we seriously we found spoons forks 
Butter knives, steak knives, everything. What's, what's the one thing we're missing? An ice cream scoop? And then, I don't know what's best between these three. Y'all have to drop a comment down below. Um, here's Dad's water meter cover. Extra, extra neat. I mean, look at the character on that thing. Very, very neat piece. Then Dad actually came through with the tire iron. I think you beat me today as far as quantity and, and, and quality go. Well, I'll tell you what, that lantern piece right there. But I found the lantern. Um, that's actually, it's cool, but I think you won today. I think you, I think you stole the cake here with these two items. I, I did get the, I did get the knife. Those are my two good finds of the day right there. Not bad, but I do think dad won. You guys have to decide who won, who found the better stuff. I think dad did. He found the lures and everything today. But again, big shout out to Wukong Magnets for hooking it up with the awesome magnets. I mean, honestly, we couldn't be out here doing this like we do with such great tools. You know, tools. These magnets are tools to get it done out here. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for your boy. But Dad and I, we're coming at you with at least one magnet fishing video a week. So, subscribe if you haven't. We will see you all on the next one. Oh, oh, and be sure to go pick you up a Bobby Guy Films merch shirt. I will link them down in the description as well if you haven't checked them out. But thank you all for being here. We will see you on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism.